Hello, my name is Jacqueline and I'm from the National Parks Board. Today, I will be sharing about cut and come again vegetables, which are leafy vegetables that can be harvested multiple times. The trick is to harvest the plant only partially and to leave the rest to grow back with lots of sunlight and some fertilizer. Cut and come again vegetables are a great thing to plant if you always need to have some vegetables on hand. First, we have sisu spinach, which is a small shrubby plant that grows well in pots and partial sunlight. It can be used as a ground cover or as a border plant to line paths in your garden. You can grow this plant from stem cuttings and it is commonly sold in pots in nurseries. To harvest it, simply cut off new growth from the top. Its young leaves are the most tender and are great eaten raw. New shoots will grow from where you cut it and you will be able to harvest it again in about two weeks or so. Sweet potatoes are well known because we often eat the tubers. But did you know that their leaves can also be eaten? Sweet potatoes produce creepers that can be used as a ground cover, but you can also train them up a trellis like vines. This plant does best in full sunlight and soft, loose soil. While it does take about six months for the plant to form tubers, its leaves grow really quickly. You can grow this plant from stem cuttings or from the tuber itself. Like the sisu spinach, the young sweet potato leaves are best harvested at their growing tips. Their vines will branch off with new leaves in about two weeks to a month and can be harvested repeatedly. Another classic cut and come again vegetable we have here is lettuce. Lettuce usually does better in cooler weather, but the loose leaf variety we have here is relatively heat tolerant. Lettuce does best in areas with full morning sunlight. It can grow quite large and needs quite a bit of space. I am growing this lettuce in a pot with a 30cm diameter to make sure that the leaves get plenty of airflow. You can grow lettuce from seeds, or you can buy them as seed plugs in nurseries. Because lettuce is a slower grower, you typically harvest the older leaves at the sides. The younger leaves will keep growing out and you can keep harvesting until the plant flowers, by which time the leaves will begin to turn bitter. Lastly, we have bayam, which is a common leafy vegetable that you can grow from seed. It does best in full sunlight and does well in pots or true ground. Bayam is a really fast grower and branches easily. Cut the young leaves at the growing tips and leave the side shoots to grow back. The plant will die after flowering. Keep cutting off the flowers like this to encourage more growth. All leafy vegetables need lots of nitrogen to produce new leaves for more harvests. We recommend using high nitrogen organic fertilizers like liquid seaweed or processed chicken manure to encourage growth. Never use raw animal manure for your edible plants because they can make you sick. We recommend fertilizing your plants once every two weeks, immediately after harvesting to boost leaf growth. We hope that you enjoyed learning about these cut and come again vegetables and that you will be inspired to grow some of these yourself. Thank you and happy gardening!